adventure of my Kunso at One Pass to become the next mixed VJ. For those of you who are not familiar with what being a mixed VJ is, Mixed Philippines is a channel that is for the youth and the young at heart who love to listen to music videos. It started, um, it's on channel 23 and it started in the year 2000. And you know, they have a list, uh, an impressive, a rather impressive list of mixed VJ alumni who are now household names. These are Heart Evangelista, Luis Manzano, Nikki Hill, Jeff Pangan, Rico Blanco, Sam Concepcion, even Lourdes de Vera, Robbie Domingo, just to name a few. So it's such a thrill for this mom to add to that list the name of BJ Anton. Okay, but before we dive into the two lessons, I invite you to please subscribe to my channel, FQ Mom on YouTube and Facebook, and also to follow me on Instagram and Twitter as BFQ Mom. So what are the lessons? Lesson one. So when Anton told us that he wanted to join the mix BJ search, we asked him what it was about, etc. etc. And then we asked him, what if you don't win? And it was such a great reminder for me. The way he answered it was like this. I don't want to think about not winning at this point in time, for it would only occupy space in my mind that should be devoted to achieving my goal of winning. You know, the risk analyst in Mikase would always state that, oh, there should be a plan B if plan A doesn't happen. But come to think of it, it was not useful for him to still um, devote that limited space in his mind because it could actually be detrimental to his winning. It reminds me of what a French philosopher in the Renaissance period named Michel de Montaigne said 500 years ago. He said, my life has been filled with terrible misfortune, most of which never happened. In fact, you know, this was tested in a study done uh, and written about by Don Bowie. It turns out that 85% of the things that we worry about don't happen. And what more? Uh, it turns out that the subjects uh, in the experiment, in the study, found out that of the 15% that actually happened, 79% of them felt that they were able to handle it a lot better than they thought. In fact, some of them said that they were better off with that misfortune because they learned a lesson or two. So if you sum all this up, no? that 87, 85%, only 85% happens, and then 79% of the 15% are okay lang, that's a huge 97% of useless worrying. So, from an investor's perspective, if you were offered an investment, would you like to invest in something? I mean, you invest your time, effort, and focus on something that has a 97% chance of losing. What will you say? Of course not. But how come this is what we always do? We always, always worry about things that will really never happen. So will you invest in it? I'm sure your answer is, of course not. But how come? That's exactly what we do all the time. We worry too much. So thanks, Anton, for reminding Mama of that very important lesson. And I'd like to share with you that really precious moment when Anton was finally announced the next Miss Vijay. The winner. Okay, so for the Mixed VJ Search 2019, it's Anton Fausto. Okay. Hey, but you're now DJ Anton. You're now officially a mix.
six DJ, how do you feel? Uh, oh, thank you, sir. Thank you, thank you so much. Thank you. Ah, ah, ah! Ah, oh, this is worse than Pop Nix. Oh my gosh. Thank you, thank you, thank you to everyone who really. Thank you, sir, for the trust. Thank you to everyone who really believe and uh, think that I deserve to be here. Because, and guys, thank you. Thank you so much, Sega. Thank you so much. You guys, Sega, really pushed me. And. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Mix. That's all I can say. That's all I can say. What can the Mix fans expect from you? Oh, they can they can expect a lot of fun. They can expect a lot of uh, craziness, pulit and kalokohan. Uh, they can expect ah uh, and expect the the unexpected. I I don't know. I don't know. I'm speechless. I'm speechless. So PJ and Tom, um, you already thanked a few people a while ago, but who would you really take this moment to thank, thank everyone who's been part of your journey? Who do you, yeah. Who do you want uh, to thank? Okay, I want to shout out my brothers are here. Omar, B. Marty, D. Gong. Uh, really, I, I'm on the boat, so I lost my brother. So, um, I did it! I did it! <laughs> and to my parents also, of course. Ah, everyone I know who's been supporting, my family, uh, my closest friends. Thank you, Tayaga. Mm. Oh my god! Oh. Yay! Would you like to introduce yourself now for the very first time as VJ and Okay, one, two, three, go! What's up, everyone? You got the sweet and spicy mix, VJ, what's it, Anton? When Anton graduated from college and told us that the career path he wanted to pursue was that of posting, being a choreographer, um, the family was into new territories because Marvin and I and also our two older sons, we followed the usual career path. After graduation, we had a stable job with a stable income and the best training. But it was different for him. But you see, because we were able to raise him to have high FQ already, Marvin and I were confident that we could still cut his natural umbilical cord once he graduated from college. We already knew that he knew that he had to have an emergency fund, that if he had dreams, he had to set up his dream funds, and he had to um, already start with his retirement fund as soon as he starts working. So all of these things gave us the confidence to just allow him to to follow his chosen career path. And you know, this is not just a reminder for parents with artistically inclined children, because that's the one whose income is not so stable, that we're so scared of sometimes, we try to redirect them, oh, what can you do? Maybe you mo. So not only for parents with artistically inclined children, but for all parents, because you see, times have changed. During our time, we opted to join large corporations with with steady income but right now do you know these kids they like to join more startups and then during our time we we would only leave our existing job when we already have a new job now I don't find the meaning <laughs> in my job right now my contribution I don't find it meaningful and they quit even before they find them job. So wouldn't it be great if they've already set up their own emergency fund in between jobs or while they have not yet come to that stable income flow? So again, really, it's very imperative for us parents now to raise our children to have high FQ so that we can sit back, relax, and allow them to follow their chosen career path. As I always say, Raising our children with high FQ is really arming them with economic self-defense. So again, the two lessons for this FQ FQ1. Number one, worrying has a 97% chance of being useless and in fact even a distraction from what you want to aspire or to, to achieve. And then lesson number two, it is imperative for us parents to raise our children to have high FQ so that we can allow them to follow their chosen career path. If you'd like to know more about this, I invite you to read my book, FQ, The Intelligence, and of course, my article.